Hey, I'm Gareth from Gareth Takes Photos, and today we're at Hadley Castle for sunrise. Um, I've only been here during the night for some astrophotography, so it's going to be interesting to see what it's like during the light. So let's get up there and get some photos taken. <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> um, this is the day that it's supposed to start snowing um, at the end of March, so understandably it is a little bit colder than last week, but wow, the difference is mad. <laughs> Absolutely mad. Let's just secure that on the tripod a little bit better. Uh, so today I'm using the Canon um, 17 to 40 mil on my Sony a7R2. Uh, I can afford to zoom in a little bit there. There we go. This is a this is a nice lens to use with this camera. I appreciate this one. All right, let's try and get some uh, photos taken and warm up because otherwise my hands are going to fall off. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with this for now. Don't turn off. There we go. So we've got F8, ISO 100, one third of a second. Um, and I'm going to have to bracket a couple of shots either side for this one, I reckon, because it is quite a high dynamic range to be seen. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, that is way blown out. So, oh, okay. Go on a little time. Seconds, perfect. So let's bring that up so that's gonna properly expose the foreground. The sky is completely gone, so we're gonna bring that down again. There we go. And now I'll properly expose for the sky. Oh, it's still a little bit blown out in the corner there. Bring that down again. Alright, so three exposures to get everything in. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is fun. I say it's fun, but it, it's actually it's just freezing. <laughs> I was hoping for a little bit more colour in the sky as well, but you know, me and forecasts they never quite go well together, so you get what you get. Right, I'm trying to get morning light hitting the side of this part of the castle here. I think that looks really nice. Um, but as you can probably tell, <laughs> disgusting, the cold's actually getting to me quite a bit so I don't know how much longer I'm actually going to be out here for. <sighs> I should dress properly, I mean a hoodie is not, it's not it for this sort of weather. <laughs> Alright, let's get a couple shots and uh, see what I can do. Yeah, I really like how this composition is looking. I've got the pieces of castle here, rule of thirds, straight down a third of the picture there. Because uh, this is the less time I've already seen, I don't have to do gravity or any of that stuff. Uh, one twentieth of a second F8 ISO 100. Shutter delay two seconds. Boom. I reckon that's going to be a right cracker of a picture. And there's even some friendly pigeons in the shot as well, so everyone's a winner in that one. Because actually the light is starting to come through now. Uh, 
Um, that makes me happy. I reckon I'll go take another couple of pictures, come back to this one when the sun's fully up so I can get some more of that morning glow on the side of the castle. But I'll look around for some other stuff. Looking behind me, the sky's going pink. That's awesome. Don't forget to turn around while you're out taking pictures. Rule number one, look around you. Don't just concentrate on the main bit over there. Actually pay attention to your surroundings. I mean, pink skies are awesome, so I'm gonna actually go over there now. Yeah. I decided to go with something a little bit less obvious, so I'm sort of hugging tight the wall somewhat to try and get this in frame. 1 15th of a second, ISO 100 F8 as per normal. Manually focused in because I don't trust autofocus on adapted lenses. That is well out. Let's just bump in a little bit more. coming through in the background and everything. Hey, the sun's up, it might get a little bit warmer now. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> Please warm up. Please warm up, it is genuinely freezing here. All right, I'm gonna wait around for a little bit and uh, see if that sun makes any difference to the colors in the sky. It should do, but we'll, we'll hang around and see what happens. Absolutely glorious glow I was talking about earlier. Oh, look at the way it's lighting up the side of that. Get a couple pictures of that. Oh, it's cold. It's cold but it's worth it I think. Very rarely do I actually get up early enough to come out somewhere like this for sunrise. I'm usually stuck in the city centre. So this is just an absolute treat for me. I want to get the glow around around that. I think I'm going to change subject. I've got a couple pictures of this. I want that. Look at that. Superb. All right, let's change composition. Let's change where I'm facing before the sun disappears. Uh. Just absolutely fantastic. This has been. The sun is hitting as exactly as I wanted it to. And it's getting the perfect pictures for, for me. <sighs> These cold hands are worth coming out for. <laughs> happy days. Happy, happy days. That wind is still chilly though. Woo! <coughs> That's not a good sign. Alright. A couple more pictures and I might head back to the van because as pretty as that is behind me, I've got a few pictures and I am Absolutely freezing, so see you in a sec. Alright, as I wait for the sun to get in position, uh, I'm going to try and get it in the window of this little piece behind me over here and get a little sun star. But while I wait for that to happen, um, I've had a few people actually message me on Instagram about adapted lenses and on Facebook as well, and as to why I use adapted lenses and uh, to put it simply, it's that Sony lenses are really, really expensive, and I'm really, really cheap. <laughs> um, this Canon 17 to 40 here, I actually bought broken. Um, broken. Uh, someone had dropped it, and the filter had actually indented in on the on the front filter thread, and it couldn't be removed. Now, my day job, I use loads of different tools, little different kinds of uh, metal cutting tools, and. I got it off super easily. I mean, the threads were a little bit damaged, but for the price I paid for this, <laughs> you couldn't even get a second hand Sony anything for that price. So, uh, to me, uh, that was worth it to have an ultra wide lens like this. And that wind is kicking up. I'm probably going to have a lot of blow on the microphone, but it's what it is. 
Um, so yeah, that's why I use adapted lenses. I've got two Canon at the moment, and I use a Sony lens as my everyday walk around lens. And that, that suits me because I don't need blazingly fast autofocus speeds. I do landscape photography and city photography for the most part, and a little bit of astro. So for me, adapting lenses and manual focus is absolutely fine. Uh, if I was shooting sports or something like that, I might be more inclined to buy the Sony uh, lenses because they would work better at higher paced um, activities. But for just relaxing in the landscape, ah, adapting is fine. So if you're looking at switching to Sony, you got a bunch of Canon lenses. Uh, the Sigma MC11 has been the best adapter I found so far. The Comlite one is not worth a single penny. Don't buy it. It just doesn't doesn't autofocus at all. Doesn't work. Sometimes it crashes the camera. It's great, a great adapter. <laughs> but the uh, yeah, the Sigma one is actually been flawless at the moment. I, I did mention about the autofocus not being great, but it's slow, but it hits, which is why action sports wouldn't really be a thing with these adapted lenses. But yeah, for landscapes, yeah. Nothing wrong with the setup at all. Everything works exactly as I need it to, and that's what's important. Sun's taking a long time to get up to that window. I know I positioned myself perfectly, so just a matter of waiting for it now. Bonkers F20 ISO 100 150 for the second. We get a few of those exposing for the Sun Star. Do, do, do. Then bump up that exposure a little bit for the foreground because it is dark. Alright, I reckon. I reckon that's going to be me. Go back and process these and see what we got. Alright, I got the shots that I came here for. Got the Sun Star, which was, I'm assuming, good. I haven't seen it yet. I hope it's good. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you can probably tell the wind's picked up a bit, so I'm heading back. Um, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, like, subscribe, do all the things, press all the buttons down there if it's red, make it grey. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.